Hey friends, it's Sonya. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being here and I hope your New Year's was amazing. One of the things that made New Year's good for me was doing our tradition of having sauerkraut. You even know what I mean when I say the word sauerkraut because it is kind of a weird word, right? You either love it, you hate it, or maybe you don't even know that it exists. And so when I moved from Newfoundland to Pennsylvania, from Canada to the US here and married Matt, moved into Pennsylvania, he it really introduced me and he really introduced me to a lot of local foods, foods that I I did not even realize existed. So sauerkraut is one of those things. You're supposed to eat it for like good luck for the year. I think it's a, dr a Dutch tradition, he tells me. I'll insert a picture right here, right now of what we ate, just so we're on the same page of, yes, this is what sauerkraut looks like. And it was so good. Some people put apple juice, some people put beer in with their sauerkraut. Do you guys eat sauerkraut? What do you put in yours? Do you eat it straight as it is? From the bag, from the can? Do you make homemade? Like, tell me the goods. Let me know what you think, of, think about sauerkraut. That's gonna be my question of the day. What do you think about sauerkraut? One of the other amazing treats, delectables, goodness, delicious eats that I've gotten to experience since I moved to Pennsylvania is the classic Pittsburgh barbecue ham sandwich. Have you had that before? In this vlog, we do it keto style. Yep, we do it low carb style. So that way you don't have to give up all those delicious things things that you love that might be like, you know, carb packed before or high in carbs. So in today's video, you're gonna see it done keto style. So let's go join Matt in the kitchen. This is the first meal I asked for when I came home from the military and abroad. This is the first meal that I asked for when I came, um, I asked my aunt to make me when we came back from Canada. And it was always my birthday meal. And it's the Pittsburgh classic, Pittsburgh, barbecue ham. There's a company in Pittsburgh which you know about but you don't know about. In 1833 a family of Swiss immigrant cheesemakers the name of Isley came here and started a small business making cheese and different things like that. Isley's cooked ham loaf is a little bit lighter, not quite as salty as most and Pittsburgh barbecued ham sandwiches involve this. This is known as chip chopped ham in Pittsburgh. Chipped ham more commonly known as I grew up with is the ham loaf put on a slicer and set to almost zero as you can see and shaved. There's about 15 ingredients that make up Isley's barbecue sauce which is not really a barbecue sauce it's more like a sweet ketchup sauce. I know it sounds disgusting but unless you had one you don't know what you're missing. This is my modified list of ingredients. Onions, garlic, shot of Frank's Red Hot, Red Hot, rice wine vinegar, you can use any vinegar you want, no uh, sugar added, Heinz ketchup, dill relish, stevia, salt and pepper. We're gonna do a half cup of vinegar. In the vinegar, I'm just gonna go straight with the garlic. Really want it to get a good garlicky flavor. Salt, basically half a teaspoon, and pepper. Now you're going to have to adjust to your own personal flavor. Some people like it sweeter, some pe people like it less sweet. I prefer the traditional two squirts of stevia. <laughs> sweet. Steve. Stevia, which I might have to adjust. Who knows? If you're lucky enough to live in Pittsburgh, or have a store nationwide that carries, uh, you know they carry Klondike, they might actually carry the Isley's barbecue sauce. But we're making this keto. Next, we have dill relish. Usually I throw sweet relish in, of course that helps with the sweetness, but we don't want the sugar. So I'm gonna go in with that. That was about a quarter cup of dill relish. So it's nice and dill pickly now. And we're going to go with about a half cup of the no sugar added Heinz ketchup. And finally, on y'all. So this is quick and simple. The best way to do the, enjoy this though is to put it together, which I'm gonna show you, and then put it in the crock pot for hours. So it cooks down, and that ham, when it's chipped right, will start to melt. It's, it's an amazing, amazing thing. We are gonna take this pound of chip chopped ham, chipped ham as we say in the mountain, 
you want it crumbly and shaved. My mixers, my super mixers. Some people like it more saucy. I like just the coating. And the reason why is once it starts cooking down, all that moisture that's trapped in the ham is gonna start coming out and the sauce is gonna start coming out because anybody who's had a chipped ham sandwich knows that you can get a really greasy, watery chipped ham sandwich at a family gather. Like I said, I go light with the sauce because I don't want it so greasy. And we're just gonna cover this over on medium low heat for the next hour or two or however long it takes to get all nice and delicious. But there is nothing like a barbecue Pittsburgh ham. Let's take a peek at how this is looking. Look at all the steam bees. It's warming up. Matt's not around. I can open this and share it with you guys so he doesn't get mad. Ooh, the seal is made. Oh, yeah, baby. Did you guys see that steam come out there? Oh, that looks good. That looks amazing. And it smells amazing. And we're back. This cooked down. Uh, I did an hour and a half. I didn't go crazy. But as you can see now, for those of you going, to, there's no sauce in there. You can see all that beautiful sauce made itself, right? So it's all covered. In it. Now I'm gonna take my my Spinal Tap bread. If you've ever seen the movie Spinal Tap, where Nigel had a heart attack because. The bread was very, very tiny. I don't want this. I want large bread so nothing sticks out, right? So our bread ended up being smaller than what I just have to double the recipe to get regular size uh, bread slices. So what we're going to do is, for our tiny bread, we're going to take little finger pieces, little finger pieces, like so. So there you go. This became an hors d'oeuvre show without even trying. <laughs> Those are great little appetizers. Yeah. Take them with you or like cook them. I guess not really take them. Yeah. You unless serve your bread up once you get there. You They're wouldn't gonna soggy. They're going to knock yourself out. Look how good those look, guys. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You see this? This bread's kind of spongy, so it absorbs all that extra sauce. And you're not... Look, dripping. dripping. There is no drip. Drip. So now you understand the method to my madness, you people from Pittsburgh. Mmm. Mmm. Right, let me have a bite of that. Let me have a bite of that. Mm. Uh, Move to Pennsylvania, to the Pittsburgh area. This is one of the little joys of life right here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're done. Keto proof? Yeah, we're done. Jeff Goldblum would. As he would say, the ham barbecue sandwich recalling his youth in Swirl Ham Hill. Ham barbecue is magical. Oh yes, it is. Yes. Mm. Mm. Good to last drop. Jeff Goldblum approved. <laughs>